But the remaining 500 and change buildings, including the governor's palace here, are reconstructed. So they've been rebuilt on their original foundations, what we think they looked like at this time in history, the 1700s, to the best of the evidence we have, best of our knowledge. Uh, the governor's palace here was uh, the original one, was first constructed over the course of about 20 years, from about 1700 into the 1720s. An addition was added in the back containing the ballroom and the supper room, which you folks will see when you go on inside. Um, and over the course of its lifetime, it served as the uh, both the private residence and the public office space of nine governors, seven royal governors. If you folks direct your attention to the very top of the building, above everything else, you'll see that gold crown. That visual reminder that each of these seven royal governors is here in Virginia, in Williamsburg, representing the monarch, the king or queen of Great Britain that is at the top of our system of government. <coughs> but indeed, in 1776, we have some uh, changes that happen uh, here in the colonies. That gold crown comes off the palace. This becomes the new Commonwealth governor's residence. Uh, the first two state governors of Virginia are Patrick Henry, followed by Thomas Jefferson. They live here in the governor's palace. Uh, but in 1780, the capital city of Virginia relocates up to Richmond, where it remains to this day. Now, after 1780, the governor of the state of Virginia no longer needs an official residence in a city that's no longer the capital. So the building serves a variety of uses. Uh, in 1781, during the Yorktown campaign, a few miles up the road, this building is actually used as a military hospital. And it is as it is serving in that role that a fire breaks out in December of 1781, destroying the building. Now, one of these advanced buildings, these flanking structures, actually survives into the Civil War before it is demolished to reuse the bricks to make chimneys in a nearby Union Army camp. Oh, wow. But indeed, about 150 years after the governor's palace is destroyed, Colonial Williamsburg builds the building you see behind me here today. This residence, this workspace for certainly the governors, but the governor's family and the governor's staff of free and enslaved workers working here on this site in the 18th century. So with that being said, I invite you to consider as you go through the building the sales pitch that these royal governors are trying to make, get Virginians on board with this idea of monarchy. Uh, while you're inside, you're welcome to take photographs. Uh, please, if you have food or drink, just keep them closed up while you're inside. And just do keep your face... Hello, welcome. <laughs> Hello. Hey, folks, welcome to the governor's palace. You guys can go right on in the street. Look into each of these rooms over here. Take pictures. And if you ask lots of questions, feel free to interrupt me if you see something that really catches your eye and you want to see. So, this is the entrance way. They really did have all of these. Matters a great deal. Mm -hmm. All of these weapons, 
the marble floor, um, the seals of royal authority all around here, all of those things are a big deal. So this is all about sending a message that the British Empire has its full weight behind the royal governor. And for a lot of Virginians, they see that and they feel actually really safe. They say, wow, we have the full weight of the British Empire keeping us safe, keeping us protected. I imagine for other Virginians, it might have been pretty intimidating. Yeah, let me know if there's anything here that particularly catches your eye or you're curious about. Everything in the old section has fireplaces. 
everything in this wing, we're just the two warning stoves. No fireplaces in here. We're the cutting edge technology. <laughs> Freshments and then go back and dance, or you could stroll in the garden. That would be your third entertaining space. Uh -huh. it's, so, yeah. it's good to be down here. Yes. Yes, absolutely. At least don't unmute me. What? So at least don't unmute me. Yeah. And it might be kind of bad. Well, it wasn't good to be down here in April of 1775, but. Hey, all good things have to come to the stuff as um, Tom and Drew's butt joint. Um, I don't know whether they have some evidence that was facing me over the